If you have an uncirculated 1942p Jefferson nickel in your collection, take a closer look at the large mint mark P on the back of the coin. If you notice an extra layer protruding underneath towards the southeast, then congratulations, you may have a nickel worth hundreds of dollars. Even if it doesn't achieve a full steps designation and isn't sharply struck, this error variety is highly coveted by collectors, known as the repunched mint mark P over P. This elusive specimen was graded as MS66 by PCGS and recently fetched an impressive $990 at a heritage auction sale on May 6th, 2024. Welcome back to CoinAz. Today, we're diving into the world of valuable and rare U.S. Jefferson nickels recently sold at heritage auctions. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button below this video to join our numismatic journey. Let's explore another pinnacle in coin collecting. Here's another fascinating error nickel variety that requires careful examination of the design elements on the reverse side. Introducing the 1954S Jefferson nickel with a double die obverse. This particular coin was graded as MS66 FS801 by PCGS. First, ensure that your 1954 nickel bears the tiny S mint mark on the left side of the Monticello building, which is on the viewer's right. The S mint mark indicates that it was struck by the San Francisco branch of the U.S. Mint. Next, grab a strong magnifying glass or a digital coin microscope and thoroughly examine the upper lettering. According to Variety Vista, there is light spread on E Pluribus Unum and United States of America, increasing from left to right. This nickel, with its very nice eye appeal, was sold for $336 on May 6, 2024. It's truly astonishing, but this uncirculated 1977D Jefferson nickel fetched over $11,000 at Heritage Auctions on May 6. Let's delve into the reasons behind such a high price tag. The 1977D Jefferson nickel is generally common in most grades. However, from 1970 to 2007, it has one of the lower mintages compared to most other dates. While enough examples were struck overall, finding one should not be too difficult. Examples up to about MS65 are common. In MS66, they become much scarcer. In MS67 or higher, they are rare, as few examples are known. This nickel is considered a modern rarity due to its condition. It's the sole finest example certified in Mint State 67 Plus with full steps. PCGS and NGC combined report only a handful of 1977 D. Jefferson nickels in MS67 full steps, and of these, the current coin is the only one with a plus designation. None are finer. It ended up selling for an impressive $11,400. Do you see something unusual in the shape of the mint mark D on the tail side of this five cent piece? This is an error variety known as the repunched mint mark D over inverted D. This variety occurs when the Denver mint punch for the D mint mark was inadvertently stamped over an already punched D in an inverted position. These coins are highly sought after by variety enthusiasts and Jefferson nickel collectors alike. The error is visible to the naked eye and adds a distinctive feature to the coin. While not as rare or valuable as some other Jefferson nickel varieties, such as the 1942D over horizontal D or the 1939D DDR, the 1953D RPM D over inverted D nickel is still sought after by collectors. This particular specimen was graded as MS66 by PCGS and was recently sold for $720 at a heritage auction. While Denver Mint nickels from the early 1950s are generally considered to have better overall appearance than those from other mints, the standard for all three facilities was relatively low at the time. The coin illustrated here is of exceptional quality, and fully struck gems are very elusive for the 1951D Jefferson nickel. This particular coin is a 1951 Jefferson nickel in Mint State 67 with full steps. Despite being a seemingly common Philadelphia issue, it emerges as a tremendous rarity in superb gem full steps grades. The current coin is tied for the finest known, making it ideal for registry collectors. Its satiny luster, warm golden lilac toning, and pristine surfaces contribute to its outstanding eye appeal, while a strong central strike adds to its strong merit. This coin was sold for $3,120 on May 6, 2024.
The Circulation Strike Jefferson Nickel series boasts several varieties, many of which are re-punched or over mint marks. The 1955D over S mint mark variety is considered scarce in all grades, making any example quite a find. Among the known 1950D over S mint mark Jefferson Nickel varieties, FS034 or OMM001 is the most popular and commands higher prices. In this variety, the top serif of the S mint mark can be seen underneath the top of the D mint mark, and it is very prominent and easily visible to the naked eye. The D over S over mint mark nickel in question was graded as mint state 66. While the coin is sharply struck, it is not bold enough to gain a full steps designation, as the steps on the Monticello porch do not separate and the overall texture is smooth. Nevertheless, this nickel displays very nice eye appeal and was sold for $600. Introducing the 1954S Jefferson nickel in uncirculated superb gem condition, graded as Mint State 66 Full Steps by PCGS. Jefferson nickels struck at the San Francisco Mint in the 1950s, especially with Full Steps definition, are among the most challenging to find in high grades. The 1954S exemplifies this rarity, with just six full steps examples graded by PCGS and NGC combined, plus one finer piece in the same category graded by PCGS. This particular example displays satiny original luster and warm lilac peach toning over pristine surfaces. The strike is bold in the center, adding to its eye appeal. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated with the latest coin news, tips, and discoveries. Your support helps us create more engaging content. Thank you. Presenting the 1970S Jefferson Nickel with full steps. According to Ron Guth, the 1970S Nickel is very common in mint state, especially in grades ranging from MS64 to MS65. While MS66 examples can also be found, anything better has not yet been seen. Full step examples are scarce, but this is one of the few dates from the mid 1960s to early 1970s that has a decent population of full step examples. PCGS has not certified a single 1970S nickel in superb gem full steps condition, making the current premium gem the finest option for full steps registry collectors. This coin features distinctly satin luster with delicate pastel color, while each side is sharply struck with only trivial signs of contact. It ended up selling for $1,440. In conclusion, the world of Jefferson Nichols continues to fascinate and surprise collectors with its array of rare and valuable varieties. From repunched mint marks to over mint marks, these coins hold a special place in numismatic history. Each one tells a story of minting anomalies, historical quirks, and the quest for perfection in coin collecting. We hope you've enjoyed this journey through some of the most valuable Jefferson Nichols recently sold at auctions. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Your support helps us continue to bring you engaging and informative numismatic content. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences with rare Jefferson Nichols, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy collecting!